Yo, welcome back to Mokagetsu Toya. Last time we went to Plum Hell with Hisui. It was very sweet. Had that whole sequence. It was great. Triggered after doing the cooking with her and then her prepping those disgusting sandwiches. But Shiki down because he is amazing and uh, it was very nice. We had some very sweet CGs and sprites for her. One that looked very Seba like as you pointed out, Stray. Uh, shout out to Stray and Counterforce for some helpful comments that I'm about to be getting into as we uh, find our path forward. But we did that. We gamed with Koaku. She kicked the shit out of us because she's a gamer, a fighting game god. Uh, beginning, we ran into our, I don't even know what to call her, like our guardian angel, whoever this girl is who's running around everywhere holding this whole thing up. There's like this distance that you can tell that she probably knows that she has to keep between her and Shiki, like not telling him anything, not engaging with him, like really at all. But um you know, still kind of pleasant interaction. Even though that's like as far as it can get as we've seen so far. But so all that was that more good times in the time loop as we have. But uh now I'm here. I triggered this scene unexpectedly. I was trying to skip to the cultural festival scene due to the helpful advices from Counter, as well as Stray. But this triggered, so maybe this will lead to another cultural festival scene, but I haven't picked the choice yet in the whole skip, skip, skip. I was trying to start there, but I don't know, something new here. We definitely probably triggered some stuff. Like, uh, for example, might trigger a new scene with going there with CL. So uh, I'll be checking that out after this. We'll see what this scene is, and then uh, maybe go to the first floor and stroll again, see if we can get another cultural festival scene. So uh, thank you too, but some cool things also is that last time I got the message for Van Femme as one of the 27 Dead Apostle Ancestor series on Startup. Uh, didn't didn't get a new one today, I got a repeat. But uh, yeah, so in Hollow Ataraxia, because you reminded me of this counter, when uh, Rin and Shira are in the box and the whole parallel worlds goes crazy like over the phone and there's so many like scenarios pointed out and there was it was actually chronological that was pointed out to me. You could even see, like, between Rin and Shiro. But at one point, it mentions Shiro being at Femme's Casino. Like, Luvia says that, like, over the phone. Uh, yeah, that's that dead Apostle Ancestor and her casino, apparently. So, that is weird and unexpected. Don't know what that whole story is about or why Shiro's involved. It just sounds nutty, but... Because I don't know if Van Femme is mentioned in any other Nasuverse works. I know, like, in Kagetsu Toya on Startup... That there's there are messages here that you get exclusive lore in. Like I, I was told that that you just don't know anywhere else. And I, I'm like, if this is the only place that this dead apostle ancestor is mentioned, and you know, for Nasu to reference that in Hollow Ataraxia in that parallel world scene is so crazy. Like it's, it's so obscure, but very cool. And I want to know that story if that exists or is just something crazy. But man, what a fate, Sukihime crossover i guess i mean not that dead apostles don't exist in the fate universe but yeah pretty crazy but anyway yeah let's get to reading uh homeroom starts the class is lively like on a midsummer day and feels rather different from the usual studious aura hmm ah now that i think about it today is wait what the fuck yo athletic festival wait what the hell see okay yeah because i was just like after doing the last one yeah, it unlocked this, because I was trying to skip ahead to this choice, but it didn't, because there's a whole new one. What the hell? Alright, let's see what's up. Hmm? I tilt my head in confusion. Not what I think about it, I remember preparing for a festival, but... <laughs> what the hell, dude? We're like gaslighting ourselves. We've experienced too much, that now there's an entire new festival going on. Ugh. Let's quickly change and go to the field, Tono. You're the first one up for the 50 meter sprint. Eh? Right, it's the athletic festival. Huh? Don't pretend to be an Alzheimer patient. Everyone's changing into their PE uniforms. Come on, we have to hurry or we'll be late for the opening ceremony. <laughs> this is so crazy, man. An eagle takes off his pants and changes. What, in the classroom? Jesus. Hey, wait. I'll change quickly too, so wait. But where did I, I just picture Arihiko, you know, with those, like, pants that you just you see in the movies. They're probably a real thing. Just breakaway pants. You just pull them, throw them off, and then there's just gym sort, shorts underneath. Anyway, 
Uh, but where did I put my uniform and my headband? Don't forget your name tag either. And I'm going ahead. And he energetically disappears. I don't know. <laughs> For some reason, I'm like associating Adihiko with like a fucking Kramer energy. Like from fucking Seinfeld. <laughs> Why does that make sense to me? I don't know, man. It's getting weird. Right. I can't forget my name tag either. I hurriedly take my change of clothes out of the locker and prepare for the athletic festival. After the opening ceremony ends, everyone moves to the cheering stand of their respective classes. Due to our school's academic nature, there isn't too much emphasis on the athletic festival. It's always the same competitions and the same routine, so it's quite lackluster compared to the well-developed cultural festival. <laughs> uh huh. 50 meter sprint competitors, please come to track number one. I repeat, 50 meter sprint competitors. Ah, it's no time to be thinking about other stuff. I wake up from my dumbfounded state and move to track number one. Ah, Tonokun. But before that, Senpai stops me. Oh, Shieru. Yes, what is it, Sen? When I turn around, my head goes even more blank. Oh. Shit, what is this? I'm scared now. Oh. I see. It's a foul. Senpai and her pee uniform exudes womanly fragrance. <laughs> Far beyond the level of the mere beauty of a healthy woman. Like, usually I'm making fun of Shiki for being like, Awooka. But, like, none of us stand a chance. It's Ciel. God damn it. Senpai. That, please don't take this the wrong way, but... Yes, take it the wrong way. What do you mean? Senpai, it's too tight. <laughs> is that the right size? Yes, the size is correct. Is it that weird? She nervously looks at her uniform. Well, this is the correct answer on its own, so I won't say more. No, it's definitely not weird. But what did you want before? Ah, oh, right, Tonokun. It's the 50 meter sprint, correct? Yes, I'm going to go run a little. What is it? And what's the one after that? Uh, the next ones are high jumping <gasps> and acrobatics. Then after lunch are the horse competition and the relay. I was going to say, it's too bad we don't have a redhead to dominate everyone at the high jumping, but maybe Adihiko's got jumps. Is that so? Then you're not doing anything during lunch, correct? Correct. If the high jump takes too long, it'll cut into the lunchtime, but I'll probably drop out pretty early. That's good. Then I'll reserve it. I made some lunch for today, so will you eat together with me? Hmm. Senpai looks at me intently as she asks. I'm always down for more Ciel scenes. Man, this might be a Ciel episode. So we're going to be trying the Indian restaurant again after this. See if we get something new there. That's... Senpai, if you ask like that, what kind of man can say no? Of course I'll gladly eat with you. And that, again, like, that's something I always like about Cheeky. He's just honest. I'm glad. Then excuse me. And keep in mind that you promised. Still sent by waves as she moves to her designated cheering stand. I promised. I guess I'm eating lunch with Senpai. No. This isn't time to be so lackadaisical. I have to hurry to the sprint or... Uh... Oh, Akia? I'm glad I found you. Wait, Nis Nissan, and this time Akia stops me. Uh, really, what is it, Akia? I'm busy right now. But even while saying that, I look back. <laughs> Cheeky's having a hard time, man. No, this is... <laughs> I like the green. I like, yeah, I like this look for Akia. N Nissan? I know you're busy, but can I borrow you for a moment? Maybe she's embarrassed because of her uniform, but she's as polite as a cat. Hey. Man, I expect the Akia cat comparison so close together. Now I just see that sprite in my head. That beautiful sprite. This appeal is the opposite of Ciel Senpai's. Or the studious uniform is fine too. Or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got you, buddy. Mmm, this is... Eh, can I talk to you a little, Nisa? Akia fidgets as she looks this way. Now that is... No, everything up until now is a foul. A foul parade, actually. Yeah, what is it? I'm busy, so keep it short, please. And I'll say this as curtly as possible. 
Kwaku made lunch for two persons so you don't have to go to the cafeteria during... Oh, don't make me choose. Don't you do this. Alright, sorry, Aki. I'm gonna have to break your heart. If I have a choice, I'm gonna have to break your heart this time. Oh, during lunchtime. Ah, uh, okay. That's really like kwaku -san. She doesn't miss a thing. She don't miss. That's true. She said she especially did her very best, so it'll be a good lunch today. Yeah, then I'll do my best so I can eat a really delicious lunch. Alright. Yeah, I stir up some spirit inside of me. Something is off, but kwaku lunch is really appreciated. Uh, Shiki, have you thought through this, uh, dilemma? You're having a Shiro moment right now. And excuse me. Oh, and Nissan, I won't accept anything other than first place. Okay, damn. Jesus, relax. She leaves after making a comment typical of her. A little break. I remember both Senpai and Akia and thank the Gons for this kind of development. Hey, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> who the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? A little break. I remember both Senpai and Akia. I thank the gods for this kind of development. Yeah, P uniforms are nice. Whoa, why are you here? Ha ha ha. I came to visit as a relative. We've never seen Akia-sama in bloomers before. He's what the fuck? Alright, you're, now you're just being creepy, my guy. The pig that appeared suddenly smiles widely. Ugh. Who the fuck is this guy? One could say that this person is a monster or doesn't know how to give up, or... In essence, he's a really annoying person that goes by the name of Kugamine Tonami. Who the fuck? From the name, one can tell that he's the head of the Kugamine household. Kugamine is the branch of the Tono family that has the most influence. Oh. Yeah, he's still a creepy fuck. Its strength is economical, and so it has a saying about a third of the Tono family matters that concern a corporation. Okay, I see, I see. With this and that reason, even the Tono household can't afford to mistreat the Kugaminas, and especially this pig. Okay, I got you. Right. No, Tonami-san was, up until just recently, Akia's fiancé. Wait, what? What the hell? Ugh. That's gross. He has many problematic habits, no personality traits, and while he was staying at the Tono house, he is said to have bothered Hisui quite a bit. Yikes. Oh, this is getting worse and worse. Well, he seems to have changed into a pretty good person now, though. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Did you hear what he just said, man? It's weird already. Like that expression with his hands? I don't like his- why are your hands like that? Stop saying creepy shit with your hands like that. It's okay if Akia spots you, you'll be assassinated. <laughs> ah, one cannot run a company if he resigns to such dangers. I will look at what I want to look at. Ugh. But it's regrettable. If Akia Sama and I were still engaged, then I could have had her change into whatever I want. Okay, alright, buddy. The pig slowly examines all the girls at the cheering stands. Especially the. Put your hands away. Especially the place where the skin and the bloomer. Okay, yeah, I understand. Oh my god. <laughs> Those eyes are sinister. Then excuse me, I have to give orders to the film team. You you still didn't fix your voyeuristic habits. Ah, oh, if there's a best shot, I'll give you one too, Shikikun. And I give you word of advice from experience. If you try to catch two rabbits, then the two rabbits will surround you and beat you to death. I mean, true. Also, uh, yeah, Shiki, have we thought through this whole dilemma, the Seo Akia lunch thing? Shah, the pig disappears into the audience with a quickness that doesn't match his form. It's got a big, uh, melting face pig energy. Ah, I met another weirdo. Well, he's not as troublesome as he was before. Uh, that's good. After his engagement to Akia was dissolved, he seems to have calmed down a bit and even seems to have taken a like. He seems to have calmed down a bit. <laughs> what the fuck was he like before, dude? Jesus Christ. Even seems he's over here with a film team at the high school. Like what <laughs> the fuck? Even seems to have taken a liking to me, so I can't treat him harshly. That's that. But what's with the two rabbits? That's like the only thing he said that made sense. And Shiki's like, "What did that mean?" When I muttered that, the feeling of danger I got when I was talking to Akia just now returns. 
Eh? Why am I sweating cold sweat? Uh, Alright, it's starting to hit him. And in addition, my spine feels strangely chilly. My body shakes as if in preparation for upcoming danger. Am I too nervous? I try to lie to myself by laughing. I'll go to track number one then. <laughs> Goddamn knucklehead. Anyway, I'm amazed at how dense I am. Alright, thank you. This development was so easy to see, but why did I th not think of it until just now? He was too excited. It's going to Awuga to understand the danger. K -k 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 -k. The tenseness that shakes the ground. It's a feeling the danger of the birds nearby in the courtyard take to the sky, and even all the envious boys excuse themselves after declaring that they just remembered something they forgot. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, uh, the fucking anger mark. That's so good. The smile with the anger mark, and just Akia not even trying to hide it, just the stank face. That is gorgeous. <laughs> And it just had to be these two. The only, the only thing worse would be Sio and Ark. This is up there. As if battling with their eyes, the two look at each other for a good 10 minutes without a word, and then... 10 minutes? That is so fucking long. I don't... I do not understand when... how time... Well, I, I feel like this happens a lot in writing. They stood there and stared for five, even like five, even one minute is a long fucking time. Jesus Christ. And then, huh, hoo, 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 laugh like that with meaning behind their laughs. I, I didn't know what was going on. Really, this isn't good for the heart. I had them just laugh really weirdly. But Senpai, what's with that pathetic parcel in your hand? Oh, wait, the But Senpai, what's with that pathetic parcel in your hand? Oh? Akiya-san, you've never seen a lunchbox? I thought that since it's been a while since you transferred, maybe you got used to a common lifestyle. Is that so? I'm embarrassed at my own shortcoming, but I heard that the lunchbox I'm holding also has the function of preservation. <laughs> Such a rich girl. I cannot recognize curry on rice as lunch. Excuse me, please don't say anything before you look at the content. This lunch was prepared after much contemplation as to how to eat it with Tonokun. This lunch is different from yours, which was probably prepared by an outsider in content and feeling like Koaku-san. And Senpai adds on to her attack with her expression. Damn, she just went straight for the jugular. And she's right. And Senpai... <laughs> Akiya grinds her teeth. K -k 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 -k. Tremors reach a new level of intensity. It would be a grand sight if there was a really big noise in the background and a picture of a tiger and a dragon would pop up. No, only in fate, but... Same energy. Yes, you're also going through a lot, Senpai. Dude, this is so petty. I love it. <laughs> oh, man. But that's the thing. Even if Shiki had even said to Akia, Oh, man, you know, I just promised I would have lunch with Ciel, but, um, you know, I'd love to have lunch with you tomorrow. Like, even if you, like, just, like, played it off. This still would have happened. That's the fucked up part. Since you don't have much to show to Nissan, you can only offer him something that even dogs cannot eat. Yo! Bang, bang. Yes, it is very regrettable. Such things cannot satisfy hunger. <laughs> but even still, Nissan tried his best to force it down. Poor Nissan. <laughs> Damn, okay, okay. <laughs> the same goes for you, Akiya-san. If Tonokun only had Koaku-san's lunches, then he would have had a great time. Wait, what do you mean by that? Take it as I said it. A meal isn't delicious only because it's tasty. Snap, 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 snap. It's like Roy Mustang. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, there it is. What the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> And Orochi versus one of Nero Chaos's beasts draped in blood. Oh, it's really turned into a grand sight. Alright, it's meaningless to keep on Alright, it's meaningless to keep on arguing with you, Senpai. I must have lunch with Nisa, so please move on top of a lamppost and have your lunch there. <laughs> Yo She do stand on lampposts. 
You're not understanding, Akiya-san. I told you before, but I made the promise first. How about you return to your mansion to have your lunch? I'll not say anything about it so you can even eat Koaku-san. <laughs> what the fuck? Now, now, you needn't try so hard to imitate a human. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Whoa. Whoa. They're cutting deep. They're going personal. It's getting spicy. Shiki, for God's sake, interfere. I mean, I understand why you're not. It's pretty good, but for God's sake. Right, I thought we needed to clear everything out once, Ciel. Agreed. I've been easy on you because you were of Tono Kun's family, but the first one I should have defeated was you, Tono Akiyasa. Whoa. Then let's decide on the manner of fight. And to make it fair, why don't we have a third party be the referee? How unexpected. We think the same. <laughs> Gee, I wonder who that's gonna be. Oh god, I see where this is going. Hold on, I gotta check them, make sure my recording didn't explode. Yes, the owner of the lunch that Nissan chooses will be the winner. Since not much of our skills required in this battle, only Nissan's decision determines the result. The monster little sister shoots me a look full of meaning. Ooh, <laughs> dude. Yeah, now you get the gravity of the situation. But wait, that method is really unfair to me. Oh, how can that be? You just need to pick the lunch you like. And we can start our lunch as usual and decide on... Oh, damn it. I thought I guessed right. Oh, how can that be? You just need to pick the lunch you like. Then we can start our lunch as usual and decide on this matter between Senpai and me. I don't think there's a more fitting way to do this. I agree wholeheartedly. Two birds with one stone. Well, the only downside is that the loser will be blaming the judge and not the competitor. And the monster glasses shoot me the same piercing look. <laughs> it's decided. Then, Nissan, please make clear which one it is. Dude, I swear if it makes me choose. I will fucking break Akia's heart right now. Fucking try me. Akia offers me her lunch. Like, I like Akia. But... <laughs> Sorry. Right. You can't say you can't decide or that you want to eat both. Oh. That you want to eat both. If you spout such nonsense, there will be consequences. And Senpai offers me her lunch. No play in the fence. Pussy. Alright. Well. Step. Oh. Well. Step. Well. Step. Well. Step. Well. Step. I hit the bench after retreating so many steps. Oh, I forgot to do their, their voices for the last two wells, but I got you. There is no escape. In front of me are two devils whose target I suddenly became. <sighs> it's a dilemma. If it turns out like this, there's no safe choice Tonoshiki can make. Ooh, uh... Oh, did it before it even came on screen. I can't eat any anymore. He fucking ate both. Oh my god. That was the best outcome. I like that. That's the best outcome. I'm happy with that. And I jump up from my bed. Hey, what the fuck? Breathing hard, I look around. Oh, god damn it. Come on, man. We gotta get spooky now. This is my room. It's four in the morning. The tick-tock of the clock contrasts with the silence of the night. Dream? Yes, it was a dream. A dream in a dream, one might say. Well, I don't really remember what the dream was, but it felt like a torturous dream where I was forcibly fed by two people with my hands behind my back. Some people would consider that uh, a good dream. Even though I'm not that hungry. I plop on my bed. Well, I'm still tired, so I'll just go back to sleep. But, please, I don't want another nightmare like that. I mean, given the scale of, like, nightmares Shiki has, it's not a bad one. But it's funny that he holds it to that level. He is truly terrified. Repeat again. Cool. Alright, that was interesting. So I wonder if... Um, if that was the thing that just unlocked there. Or if there really is another cultural festival scene. Uh, I'll check. I'll, I'll go back through and check and I'll make a cut to uh, whatever... I end up doing next. We get to 20 production notes. There was a heated debate over whether Akiya should cut her hair in a story for the evening. Read the story to see the results. And we did. I think we got that message before. But alright, let's go again. Oh, I picked this choice thinking I might have done it before. So I'm at the branch where um, 
Uh, I stay at the mansion, but then I say, screw this, I'm going out. And then I picked, uh, go to Ciel's place. So, uh, yeah, I guess I haven't seen this. Alright. I think that's basically what I wanted to pick. So, uh, yeah, you Ciel episode, let's go. Hmm, it's a holiday. Also, yeah, uh... I don't know why, because I think it's happened before where Shiki, um... is experiencing something and then he suddenly wakes up. I don't know what the implication of that is. Because he apparently dreamed that whole athletic festival thing. Which makes sense, because it's, it's such a, like, blatant just twisting of what normally happens on that. Because it's a branch where... Okay, you can go full-on cultural festival. All the preparations are there, everything's ready, everyone's ready to go. Or you just go athletic festival, in which case... The fuck, no one is red is expecting the cultural festival. Yeah, the athlete, athletic festival. Tono, you're racing, get down there, you know? It's like, just a complete, just, shift of everything, so... For it to be a dream... In the dream, makes sense, I guess. Which is funny, because, like, way more bizarre shit has happened. And, and Shiki hasn't been like, and then I woke up. Like, literally, Shiki, a fucking Kaku is injecting us with shit in a basement, and then it's like, repeat again. It's like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, you know, he's in the dream of where ridiculous shit happens. But no, that was, that was such a nightmare that Shiki woke up within the dream. It was so bad. Or for whatever reason, it was that way. I'm just, I'm just having fun. Hmm, it's a holiday. It'd be fun to go over to Seal Senpai's apartment. The day's just begun, and if it goes well, I could spend the whole day with her. Hey, Seal episode, let's go. Shadow episode. Hopefully my main in Melty Blood. I hope that I like the way she plays. So I can stay true. And Seal Senpai's room it is. The day is refreshingly clear, so if I coax her enough, I think I can get a date out of her. Oh, okay, okay. Actually, yeah, this might be exactly what I needed to do to get to the Indian restaurant with her. I wasn't even, even intending, like, I could have taken a... Because there are a couple paths that lead to, like, Shiki going out at night to pick the restaurant. I just so happened to choose this one and pick this choice, which I thought I already did before. So, I don't know. This might have just worked out on its own. Serendipity Duda. Good morning, Tonokun. Did you have a good dream after you went home? She asks that as soon as she sees me. Huh? I slept just as usual. What kind of... There's some continuity right here. What, what the hell? Why do you ask that? I tilt my head left and right. Uh, no particular reason. You just look tired, so I was wondering if you got home all right. I see. She looks embarrassed for a moment, and then she starts cleaning up the room and brings out a table. Hmm, did something happen yesterday? I could ask, but I think that will put an end to her enthusiasm. Something definitely happened. I don't know why she feels so happy, but I'll just keep quiet about those unnecessary things. I See, I love shit like this. Because this could be just straight up how this scene is written. And a lot of scenes in this game are just straight up written like this, because, you know, that's the whole thing with it. Like, what happened yesterday? Why are they acting like this? What do they mean? And then... You could experience those things afterwards, which makes them make sense in hindsight. Or, in this case, I just had the fucking dream within a dream force-feeding shit with Sio and Akia. And then this happens, and I'm like, hmm. So, uh, that's cool. I like it. But Tonokun, you're early today. Uh, you see, I came to request a date, I wanted to say, but something in my heart pulls me back. On top of the table, Senpai brought our notes and textbooks. Hmm? Hmm. Oh. Oh, this is like when we're at Ark's apartment. I see, I see. Alright, well, let me do a whole savory do here. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I'm not gonna study for the first choice. What am I, a nerd? Not this time. This won't do. Such a fine day as today cannot go to waste studying in a room. One can study anytime, so holidays should be left free to do as one pleases. I've decided. Let's go out, senpai. Yeah, that was the whole plan anyway. I can't back down. Ah, you're quite bold today, Tonokun. I'm not bold. I came to hang out with you. So this is a very natural thing to do. The Chad Shiki. Uh, hanging out with Tonokun. It's very appealing, but Tonokun has something to do before that. 
Maybe hang out was the wrong choice of words. Maybe have a date would have been more accurate. <laughs> it's one of my favorite sprites of her. Eh? Date? A date, is it? Mm, like shopping with senpai and pointing out this restaurant that I've had in mind. Or mm, restaurant, okay, okay. Or strolling the streets at night. Maybe we'll stand on a lamppost together. Oh, that's very appealing. Hmm. She blurs her words and internally struggles with the study materials on the table. Oh god, I'm being a jerk. Ha. Huh. I've won. Senpai is unusually weak against such wordplay. When I said hang out, she placed a responsibility first, but when I said date, the sweet word melted that responsibility. Yeah, okay, okay. Damn, we're a bad influence. Eh, uh, Tonokun, are you saying that if I decline today, there won't be another time? I can't promise anything, but the next time will probably be a long time from now. Uh, uh, she lets out a noise a dying cat would make. And after struggling so much, she... I better not be foreshadowing. Uh, after struggling so much, she shot, sighs and lifts up her face. Of course, I know what she's going to say. But when it says cat, I'm no, I would still have no fucking idea who that would mean. Is it Ark? Is it Akia? Is it the girl with the bow and the balls? I don't know, man. Senpai will blush and happily say it's just for today. Hey, just for today. Next time, we study. This time, we curry. I walk the streets with Senpai. We stopped by stores that I would normally have just passed by and discussed this and that. We ended up not buying anything, but because of our conversation, I didn't even realize time passed away so quickly in happiness. And when I came to, it was already lunchtime. Shall we go somewhere quickly? Oh, shall we go somewhere quickly, she says, looking at a fast food restaurant while holding onto my arm. Oh, you want Borgar? Not today. I told you in the morning that I would show you a restaurant I had in mind. Ah, uh, that'd be nice, but are you financially okay with it? It's okay, really place has low prices. I start walking after grabbing Senpai's arm. The destination is the India. Hey, hey, let's go, dude. I am so... Dude, I could have picked... I think there are like two other branches that lead to the nighttime choosing somewhere to eat. I'm so happy I picked this one. Because I didn't expect anything from this. Yes. Got them good instincts. The destination is the Indian place called Messian. Indian restaurant de Messian. Adahiko found it, saying that only those in the know know about this place that draws only maniacs, but most of the customers seem to be couples. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe this maybe this choice stood out to me, because it's just now become available. I think I'm literally just playing the game, and I'm, I'm like, man, I'm so good. It's literally the fucking game. Anyway. Hmm. The place is a little smaller than a convenience store. It's pretty small. It's wedged between offices and bookstores and other commercial entities on the second floor. The counter is the first thing that greets the customer who steps out of the elevator, so it's rather crowded, but I think that the atmosphere and taste of the place are in the top five around this neighborhood. Alright, we're here. It looks like the entrance will lead to an underground grave, right? The elevator's inside and it's the only way. You can't take the stairs up. I thoroughly explained to the newcomer, Senpai. And... I just thought it was funny. It's like a grave, which, you know, is so, like, whatever to CEO of the burial agency. This is Messian? Senpai? For some reason, her face looks really serious. I thought it was pretentious to take the name of a savior, but this feeling of danger is abnormal. Oh, God. Oh, God. It warned us last time. <laughs> we saw the fucking roar on screen. Eh, hey, abnormal. No, it's a simple restaurant. God help us all. Senpai doesn't reply and stares at the second floor. Maybe it's the ventilation, but I think the smell of some delicious curry is coming from where Senpai is looking. Dude, her senses just snapped. It's dangerous. I think something irreversible will happen when I go in with Senpai. Like, I don't even know what she's gonna do. Like, I don't know if this is good or bad. Sorry, we'll pass. There's a good Chinese restaurant nearby, so we'll... We'll go in. I suddenly feel the urge to try my hand at it. Oh my god. Oh. Ooh, uh, no, that can't be. Senpai, let go of my hand. It's too late. As if she hasn't heard my plea for mercy, Senpai drags me into the building holding my hand. 
The elevator opens and we are immediately seated. <laughs> Was that welcome? The waiter brings the <laughs> brings the menus, talking with an accent. I'm just picturing the most French waiter ever at this Indian restaurant. I have a basket of chicken curry special bread. How much you, senpai? <laughs> Dude, look at her fucking face, man. She is so intense about this. Yeah, she's gonna judge the fuck out of this curry. It better be good. That's what that face says. Vegetable curry rice set. Says, 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 senpai. You don't have to order like you're picking a fight. Understood. <laughs> oh, that's that was his. Understood. Uh, I can't even do a. <laughs> what was that? I tried to do a French accent. I can't even do that. Understood. Uh. The waiter, not caring much for the aggressive tone of Senpai's voice, casually disappears to the other side of the counter. Oh ho ho, and all that. Ah, uh, an unconscious sigh. Senpai still has an, on an aggressive air about her, making it very hard for me to talk to her. So I just keep drinking water. Tonoku, now that I look back at it, you ordered something strange. Eh? Ah, oh, the special bread? Yes, why is it that you don't order rice? Senpai didn't ask to inquire about what the bread was. She could not stand the thought of traditional food being eaten in an untraditional way without the egg. Oh god, the judgment has already begun. Don't even have the food yet, it's already begun. Ah, the egg comes with curry automatically. The thing I ordered was the newest thing on the menu and... Thank you for... Thank you for waiting. Ooh, <laughs> what is that accent? Nice timing. A basket filled with three freshly fried curry breads is placed in the middle of the table. Th th this. This is it. Um, is this Shiki or the waiter? Probably the waiter. You can order it separately as well, but if you order a whole basket, the egg doesn't come with it, but the price is cut in half. So I think it's actually a better deal, oh ho. What is this, Tonokun? Doesn't it look good? It's melon bread compressed by curry bread. What the fuck? What is that sentence? Melon bread compressed by curry? This is... This is overloading my American palate. Like, I can't, I can't even comprehend what this sentence is saying. That's, that's, that's not a burger. What the fuck? Uh, I can't finish all three, so here, you can have one. Is, is it okay? It's okay. Individually, it's 250 yen each, but if you order by the basket, it's 150 yen each. Hmm. Then, itadakimasu. With a scary face, she takes a... That was the scariest itadakimasu. Just intense as fuck. Itadakimasu. She takes a bite into the freshly fried curry bread. Oh my god, what the fuck? Why was that so sudden? What the fuck? What kind of jump scare was that? That CG is glorious. I fucking love it, but god damn. <laughs> Alright, let's take a moment to appreciate. <laughs> it was foretold. This face, this was foretold. And god damn, I'm gonna have to make an emote of this too. Holy shit, that is amazing. Oh, that's perfect. That fucking face, man. I thought it looked great when I saw like the miscolored, like the negative version we saw in the last part. But it look in all its glory with the background as well. Got the bread on the table. Chair coons falling backward. Shiki sweating. Yeah. With a slam, the table shakes and the two breads left over take to the air and do a little dance. <laughs> I like that description. Ah. This is... Seal Senpai slams the table, unable to hold back her sudden passion. Ugh, slam. There's a crack on the evergreen tent. Jesus Christ. Alright, yeah, no joke. But I tell myself constantly that it isn't there to forget about it. She fucking cracks the table. To -to 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 -tono -kun. It's curry bread. Delicious or not? I can't tell. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, either way, I don't think this is something to get so worked up about. Okay, if you like it, I can give you all of it. I'll give them all to you, but please calm down. But I can't say that because their eyes are shining. <laughs> uh, no, you ordered it. You ordered it, Tonoko. I can't take any more from you. 
Ah, uh, that is true. And plus, you won't be able to eat your curry if you eat all of these. Hmm, that's a relief. She's more rational than I thought. But she toned it down real quick. She f cracks the table, stands up, goes full anime mode. Alright, she decided to let it out. I understand. Uh, no, I'm not full yet, so you don't have to worry. Uh, it's dangerous. I almost spray out the water in my mouth. Before that, Tonokun, I have a request. Huh? What is it? Send me some money. I didn't bring much today. Oh. I bad feelings realized in an instant. But, well, if it can satisfy her, then it might be worth it. Mm, okay, how much would you like? Because I, <laughs> I love how she asked that. Well, she had asked. She's like, lend me some money. Like, <laughs> is it for the food? Like, you would assume so, but it's like, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck's yo? Getting robbed at the dinner table? That's crazy. Everything you have. <laughs> ah, nose came out of my what? Wait, what? <laughs> no, water came out of my nose. Yeah, there you go. That's senpai, that's a little... Oh god. We need black bars on screen every time this sprite comes up. Just real cinematic. The different filter on as well. Just pure danger. He, she's serious. Okay, please give it back to me later. I take out what I need for my meal and hand my whole wallet over to Senpai. Flash, her eyes take on a new level of brightness. They do the glasses glare. With my wallet in her hand, she charges towards the counter. What the fuck? She about to order way more? Oh my god. Dude, this is shameless. Saber's a glutton. She's at least polite at first to get what she wants. CL just robbed Shiki and is spending the money in front of him. <laughs> Holy shit. A lot of noise comes from the kitchen. They seem to originate from the chef and senpai. Ah, it failed. Now what? In the worst case scenario, I'll end up spending the whole day here. Uh, I'm sorry for senpai, but in this case, I... What the fuck? Run away? If one swallows poison, one must finish it. Well, that's what I'm gonna fucking pick. But, uh... Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. This is lunch. This is a dinner. But, um... Late correction to myself. But, uh... Yeah, we're seeing this through. God damn it. <laughs> but I have some other paths to do now. Which is good. Hey, it's the CO episode. We're here. We're doing it. Right. I'm the one who seduced her into... <laughs> uh, Shiki kills me, man. So I have to bunk her up and see how things turn out. <laughs> what the fuck is going on over there? The noise from the kitchen is getting more heated. I expect to hear clashing sounds pretty soon. Thank you for waiting, oh ho. With a face full of pretense, the waiter brings chicken curry and a vegetable curry set. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I thank the waiter and start digging in. Alright, that was his. Well, there's time. So I will at least enjoy the food like a proper customer. I like to think Shiki was deliberately avoiding the reactions of the other patrons in there. <laughs> I mean, she cracked the fucking table. Who's gonna Who's gonna say anything? No one. By the time we leave Messian, it's already evening. Maybe her negotiation with the manager fell through, but it took me a bit of effort to convince the complaining senpai to continue the date. Oh my god. I'm not even sure what the fuck she was negotiating. What the hell? Alright, after walking around with senpai who complained about how they were stingy with the recipe. Oh, I see, I see. The clock points past 10 o'clock. You tried to buy the recipe with Shiki's money? God, I know I said Chad Cheeky earlier, but we know we know who the true alpha is. Senpai looks at the clock and Whoa, it's already patrol oh, Whoa, it's already patrol time. That at least cheers me up a bit. What Senpai, you're patrolling today as well? It's a waste of part like this, so I ask. Dude, we're gonna find out she's patrolling like fucking Archer in 
Hollow Ataraxia just secretly at night just fighting the evil that's been in the background. Yes, it's my job. So I'll patrol my usual route, and if nothing's wrong, it'll be over in two hours. If you're going to sleep over, then please go back for now. She answers with her head bowed down. Uh, her cheeks are red, causing mine to turn red too. Damn, okay. All right, all right. I can come with you. I told you I would spend the day with you. I'll try not to be a bother, so let me help you out once in a while. I softly add CL to the end of my sentence. <laughs> Whispers it into her ear. CL. <laughs> like fucking Dexter. I don't know whether she's troubled or happy, but she stretches her hand and grabs mine. Curry du fromage. I patrol the night streets with Senpai. Probably because of the murder cases of last year. There's not a lot of people out at this time. Makes sense. Ah, now that I think about it, wasn't there a new killer in town? Oh boy. He fucking decapitated us and bisected us. Good times. Maybe it's because of that that the street is so quiet, even though it's not even midnight. Hey. Tonokun, did you say something? Yeah? Uh, no. I was just talking to myself. Got you, so pretty. Uh, don't be too tense, but please pay more attention to the surroundings. The undead are cautious because they know I'm here. Without a master, they are weakened by the mere scent of my holy robe. <laughs> so if they even see anyone robed, they will attack without hesitation. Destroy the source of the scent? That's pretty crazy. Like, it's the robe. Yes, so even the mere act of being near me in this dress at night is dangerous. Well, it's not enough to take off your glasses, but if you feel it's necessary, please do so. Your sense of danger is almost beastly. True. Walking the main street at night, Senpai instructs me on various things. But something about this conversation bothers me. Take off my glasses? Why? I mutter to myself. What's the purpose behind such an, ac such an action? Uh-oh. Let's not arm our mind now. It's not as if something will happen if I take off my glasses, and up until now I've not relied on others for... Wait. Does Shiki... Wait a second. Did he... F did he forget he has the eyes? Has it come up yet? In this VN? I'm trying to think, have the eyes been relevant yet? Maybe not. Maybe I'm assuming too much. And up until now, I've not relied on others for... Because, yeah, a flash. He's talking as if... Yeah, like, wait, what? Nothing's going to happen if I take off my glasses and I've not relied on others. Like, holy shit. Man, yeah, I'm really reminded of Hollow Ataraxia. Actually, no, I think only when uh, Shiki fought Killer Shiki. I mean, he lost, but... Yeah, didn't he take his glasses off there? Maybe not? That's like the only scenario I can think maybe. I, I might have to check back in my VOD to check, but uh... Yo, that's crazy. Cause yeah, we got the... Flash there as if... Cheeky is forgetting something and... That wasn't quite right. My head hurts. When I think about what Seal Senpai just said about taking off my glasses, nausea overwhelms me and also almost brings me to my knees. Yeah, it's kind of a big deal, buddy. We gotta get that squared away. I turn away from Senpai and take a deep breath. I'll rest a bit. I'll not think about anything for now. Being near Senpai should be more than good enough. Hmm? When I turn to look at the shadow of a building, I notice something awfully like the shadow of a person. I chase it with my eyes. That's... Dude, that is terrifying. That is fucking terrifying. Dude, if I stare at it long enough, it's like, I swear I can see it moving. Oh god, alright, let me move on. That's Senpai with red eyes. Dude, what the fuck? So, first of all, I don't, I don't, what, I don't even know what this is. Like, Killer Shiki, I can understand. At least conceptually. But, what? What the hell? 
Oh, this song. You know shit's real when we get this song. Oh, I fucking love this song. Senpai. Yes, what is it, Tonokun? Senpai who is leading me turns around. Eh? Ah, uh, right. You're here, Senpai. And who is that just now? I thought I was looking this way and silently laughing, but it was definitely... Hey, Senpai. Yes, so what is it, Tonokun? Senpai, do you have a sibling that resembles you closely? Oh uh, yeah, now she's... concerned. Suddenly, Senpai's expression freezes. Tonokun, where did you see it? Oh, does she know exactly what he means? Suspenseful eyes. I mustn't tell. I instinctively know that telling Seal Senpai about that someone would be a bad idea. Yo. Oh my god. It's like that? We have a bad instinct about telling her? Yo. But the fact that Seal knows. Yes, it was that way. Well, alright, we did it. But Senpai knows instantly by following the direction I was looking. Alright, she would have got it anyway. Tonokun, please stay here. She speaks without any feeling in her voice. Wait. You can't go, Senpai. You can't. I forced down my heart that felt the ominous presence and follow after Senpai. Oh dear. Senpai disappears into an alleyway without hesitation. The moment I leave the passage following after her, I feel like throwing up. What? The smell of blood surpassing all others. From this normal alley, insane amounts of blood smell flows out. <laughs> I subconsciously wipe my cheek. The smell is so thick that even the scent alone... Dude, di did they already body each other? What the fuck is going on? Maybe that was Ciel's nightmare. Herself as the vampire, right? We know she was the vessel of Roa. Of Roa's soul. We know that's what made her her nature. It would make sense that would be her worst nightmare, given her history. And maybe we're just witnessing that manifestation. We encountered, um... It was more like... We had to, like, fall asleep, but as far as Crimson Moon... We were able to do that with Ark and figure out that was Ark's nightmare. That potential of it manifesting in her. I think this is just Ciel's. But the fact that it's just happening, like, right here, while we're conscious, like, granted, this whole thing's a, a dream, but, yeah, still crazy. Maybe that's what it is. That's the only thing I can think of. The smell is so thick that even the scent alone would leave droplets on my skin. It creates the illusion that just in front of me is a swimming pool full of blood. No, you can't meet that person, senpai. Unconsciously, I spit that out. I know this feeling. Myself in the reflection that I must not meet. Mmm, yeah, this is exactly what it is. It's a CL's nightmare. But I forget in the morning. It still remains a nightmare I can't remember. Or it's just Shiki's. This might be just Shiki's, but yeah. Cook. <laughs> Cook. <laughs> I bring out my knife from my pocket and jump into the alleyway. I arrive. There. Senpai who stares upward with eyes full of hatred and... Someone who absorbs it just like that. Because I'm looking at this design too, like... I mean, this is a very... Like, kind of vampire-ass cloak with the high collar. Obviously, the red eyes. Now, the two little balls here, I was like, wait a sec. But I think this is just part of the design for this. It was just the two balls threw, threw me off, and I was like, wait, there's no way. But yeah, I think, I think uh, we already said what it was. Anyway, let's see. I thought you would stay. Hoo <laughs> hoo. It's refreshing to be loved, isn't it, Xiao? Shut your mouth. I have no reason to be called Xiao by you. I do not know what a dead person like you would be thinking, but... Hmm. You want to say give up taking on this appearance? Now that's something that has no purpose. I'm originally like this. You know better. Yeah, this is straight up Xiao's nightmare. God damn, dude. 
someone laughs happily. This is fucked up. With each laugh, Seal Senpai's hatred seems to grow more intense. This is the worst hatred, self-hatred. Looking at it carefully, her hands are holding her swords so tightly that they are bleeding. Alright, if you won't stop. You'll kill me? That's impossible, because I'm... Shut up. Senpai teleports. Jesus. It could not be described in any other words. That's how fast her movements were. Senpai rises like fireworks. Without even a prior stance, she charges into someone. The sound of cutting steel. The strike that would have cleanly cut down from the shoulder is simply blocked by someone's scissor hands. Scissor hands? <laughs> what the fuck? She's got black keys for fingers? Senpai puts distance between them in a flash. Someone doesn't move a step, but only lets the black cape flutter. Yo. Holy shit. I think I have to censor this. Uh. Okay, moving on. It's impossible, right? You with your body trained by the church will surely best me in a fight, but I still have that something that you lost. There's a difference between you who had to train because you didn't have that something, and I who already had that something. Jesus. In essence, your teeth are only fake. Imitations that copied the original. I don't like how into her head she's getting. This fucked up. Senpai wordlessly glares at someone. Cause so yeah, this is like Ark with Crimson Moon. This is Shiki with Killer Shiki. And this is Ciel with sexy vampi vampire Ciel, I guess. Senpai wordlessly glares at someone. The sound of teeth grinding. As if her hatred has reached its peak, Senpai grinds her teeth as if to break them. You're shaking, Xiao. No, it's terror. Seal Senpai is giving all to stop her teeth from chattering. Did you understand? I told you many times you can't kill me. Because I'm you. Someone you fear. A nightmare of your past. You can never kill me. Someone smiles. Stop. Senpai mutters like an abandoned child. Please remember, I'm you, Xiao. Your shadow you gave birth to. Your reluctant memory that you cannot ever erase. <sighs> Goddamn. Yes, this is your unforgivable guilt's realization. I don't like it. Senpai collapses. Because, yeah, that was... That's... That's it right there. Like, because we know what she did as a result of Roa's soul fully, like, coming into control and what happened to her and who she was. Like, goddamn, dude. Senpai collapses. Grasping her hair, Senpai looks up like a madwoman. This is torture. Senpai. Unable to restrain myself, I run to her. I tightly hug the writhing, kicking Senpai. Senpai. Senpai, damn it. What are you doing, Xiao? You have to wake up. That's well said. I try my best to suppress my raging body. Wake up from the nightmare. But, 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 Senpai sees nothing. Her writhing is severe enough that she might bite her tongue. Ah, damn it. Wake up. Where's the usual calm Xiao? I don't know who that is, but it's not like you to be scared before an opponent. If you can't take her on, then I will. Ah. I raise my face. Looking at me with tearful eyes, she sadly shakes her head. It's impossible. For Tonokun, it's impossible. She's the only one, right? Who can? I'm asking why. But because that's my sin. Mm. She says as if grieving furiously. God, poor CL, but I love the writing in this, dude. I love how it's just perfectly painting the, the dark side, her sin, the dark side of her and like everything that she just holds, just manifest. It's fucked up, but it's good shit. Like heated candy, senpais, and my consciousness melts. 
Yo. Yo. Oh my god. Our consciousness melts and then just red. It was all red there. One can only wonder how many corpses are needed to make such a river of blood. The church that was the pride of the small, out-of-the-way village reddened everything. Hmm. In that river were a few crawling bucks. The things crawl and writhe. She laughs, saying that they look like maggots. With their arms and legs cut off, having become like sticks, the creatures crawl over to the exit. She couldn't really blame them for such actions. Making splashing noises, they crawl with just their backs and waists. The exit was in the direction they were heading. However, the exit is a little raised, and it's impossible to go over it without standing up. Cursing, they continued to crawl. But after one night had passed, and the second night was about to come, the curses had turned into begs. <sighs> That's enough. Splash, splash. I can't see anything. Twitch, twitch. Arms and legs, arms and legs, arms and legs. Roll, roll. It's painful. Slosh. It hurts, it hurts. Squirm, squirm. I'm begging you, dribble, dribble. Please, splash, splash. Please kill me. Oh my god. Of course she ignored such requests. She didn't even hear them. Growing bugs in the reservoir of blood was more boring than expected. The fact that she called them bugs, man. It's her sin. There is still time before she will arrive. She's free to spend that time as she wishes. She falls into her thoughts as she closes the lid of the reservoir. When she dropped the piece of metal that was being used as the lid, there was the sound of something breaking. But of course, such a sound wasn't heard by her. It was a piece of everyday life. I don't want to see more of it. Nausea and quivering in fear shake me out of the dream. Oh my god, I fucking hate this song. <sighs> I pull my body away from Senpai, so my vision returns to normal. But Senpai has nowhere to run to. It's still falling down, she is watching that scene. Get up. You can't stay here like this, Xiao. Yeah. Grabbing onto the arm of Senpai who has fallen and is crying, I force myself to run. I run while gasping shallow breaths. Senpai is just being dragged along with no energy. Alright, since we've come this far, it'll be okay. I was thinking of turning around when I went pale. So Senpai, so Senpai wasn't there. Oh my god. Even with her arm that I was definitely holding onto just a moment ago has disappeared as if it were an illusion. Oh my fucking god. It's useless. You can't avoid your demons. Sia will suffer in there until she opens her eyes. What, she has to accept you? What is this persona? You. I don't know when this person appeared, but someone spoke with a smile that gave me goosebumps. It's the same with you. Yeah, I get it. I understand. God damn it, this is so good. You have your own demons too, so don't bother us. When you're around, I needlessly get formed. Oh. It's our fault. So you should just disappear. Jesus. What? With a thud, my knees fall to the ground. Dude, this is just straight up persona. We have to accept our dark sides. It feels like my neck has been impaled with a large fork. Oh my god. Sweet dreams. I'm counting on you for tomorrow too, Tonoku. That was the last sound I heard this night. How should I put it? Someone's voice left a feeling of lasting happiness in my ears. Like when Senpai was joyfully laughing. Dude. Dude. Dude, that was so fucking good. What the fuck? That was so fucked up, but I love that. That was fucking awesome, man. I love the way that was written. And now that we're at this point that these parallels have been so developed that I can see them now. That's so fucking cool. I think CLs is the most, like tangible to me just because of uh, knowing everything i know from Tsukihime and just like i like getting to know more of her personal struggle with that it's been a long time since i played her route it was literally the first route i ever did in Tsukihime so yeah i really appreciate that
God damn, dude. Scenario director's motto. Humanity is almighty. I don't think I've seen that one yet. <laughs> anyway, um, right, I'm going to study for the test. Oh boy, man, these are simpler times. Wow, dude. Dude, that sequence was so fucking good. I can't decide which one I like more. I think the Crimson Moon one, just lore-wise, was just really, like... I think I like, I really like Crimson Moon. Oh, there's a lot of things I like about the Crimson Moon one, especially because we got a whole side story dedicated to it. But I really fucking like this CL one, where we get to see just straight up. Like, the way it was talking to her, too, just her fucking guilt and sin manifest. I mean, it's completely not her fault. But, you know, she still has to live with it, that's the thing, and... Yeah, man. No, this is literally some Persona shit, man. <laughs> At the end, she was just like... Dark CL was just like... She has to accept it. And I know, know you have your demons, too, Tonokun. Like, she's... Yeah. We all do. We all certainly do. God damn, man. Yeah, that's one, that's one of the that's one of my favorite things about this game. I hope we get that with more characters. That would be great. I can't wait. That was really good. Like on a personal level, because I just like CL a lot as a character. I'm glad that she got that. All right, I'm starting to sound a little Kire right now. Uh, that was very good. Mm -mm -mm. Right. If I don't get 70 average or above on the finals, I was told that I would have to have supplemental classes all throughout the winter break. Senpai, honestly. Hmm? You came to study like yesterday, correct? Uh, yeah, something like that. You're the only one I can rely on for these matters. Please, take care of a poor Kohai and so sacrifice your holiday. Ah, uh, I bow my head. This was not the Chad Cheeky. Really, don't worry about it. It's good practice for me. I really should sit down at least once a week to study, too. She makes me feel more comfortable. Uh, really, she's better than some impulsive vampire princess or a lady attending some prestigious academy that teaches God knows what to their students. True. <laughs> then shall we start? It's just past 10 o'clock. We'll put in a round before lunchtime. Oh, that sounds good. I think I can concentrate more if I think of this as a fight. <laughs> I prepared in advance by bringing last year's second semester finals. Let's try a round against the textbook. Wow, nice. And she brings out test papers from a bag. Really, this shadow student government principal has tons of mysterious things. Then the total is 10 subjects. It's a fight to finish as much as you can in two hours. Of course, the one with the lower grade at the end will be buying lunch. Senpai starts. It's turning out a little weird, but if I can study with Senpai, then I'll have no problems. Looks like we might go down this route anyway. Got a, got a telltale choice right here. But still, new content. To speak in boxing terms, it's a KO in the third round. Uh, it's not total KO. At least call it three down, please. Ah, uh, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't change the fact that you're buying lunch. You were gonna fucking rob him anyway. I know your tricks. That's foul. How did I think about it? I love how he just keeps saying that. How did I think about it? I think I was tremendously disadvantaged in this fight. It's okay. Now, since I lost, I'll make something so grand that you'll wish you lost. Ah, we're cooking. Hmm, that is so. I regretted a little. With this much difference in the score, it should have been dinner as well as, well as lunch. Honokun can only make noodles, and eating noodles for two meals just won't give me energy. Damn. God, that's cruel, cool, senpai. Not at all. This is the result of a fight. Since I can eat your home-cooked meal, I suppose I can skip the curry for one day. That's how you know she loves him. Uh, I've been had. She really set out expecting me to cook dinner. Okay, okay. Dinner and a snack. I'll do something about those. But please help me study for the whole day. Ooh, you're enthusiastic, Tonokun. With that, winter break will be yours. Let's go on a trip one day. Senpai is strangely full of energy. Coldly thinking about it, I'm not really looking forward to studying for one whole day, but since Senpai's here, I can't back out. Okay then. If I don't have to go to supplemental classes, please convince Akia. I'll be taking refuge in Adahiko's house that day. <laughs> oh, is that so? There was something even more annoying than the tests. Ah, uh, I head toward the... <laughs> wow. Even still taking shots at her. I head toward the kitchen, leaving a sighing senpai. The holiday's turning out weird, but this is fun in its own way. I think I'll be back in the morning, but Akia will understand if it's for the sake of studying. But 
Ramen can be lunch. Pasta for dinner. Udon for a snack. But as I think that, something passes through my head. Ah, I'm getting dense. Yeah, really dense. I should at least make curry udon to show my appreciation. Yeah, he can be dense. Oh, and we just straight up repeat again. Well, that was fucking fast. <laughs> Alright. Well, we got time. We can do the other choice I was wanting to do. Sing my guitar, said the Hisui screen. Alright. Aha, run away without senpai. Oh, if I thought we got a bad ending last time. At least... <laughs> At least I could appreciate the fuck out of that, how horrible it ended with that dark CL. Like, that shit was fucked up. But it was so good. This one's just gonna be bad. Run away without her? This is bad. No, the one at fault is Senpai. I'm sure most would agree if I state that I'm the victim here. Sorry, but will it be alright for a while? I call a waiter who seems pained by the conflict going on in the kitchen. Yes, sir. What is it? Please bill me for chicken curry and a basket of bread. If my partner returns, please tell her that I had a sudden anemia attack and had to return home suddenly. Understood. Oh, he twirls his mustache as he walks away. Alright, mission accomplished. Then I must escape before Senpai comes back. I feel like my accent was getting a little better as I did it. That's how that works. After saying sorry to the employees of Messian, I head out. Still a shit accent, but I think it was way better than the first one I fucking did. Jesus, I don't even know what that was. Uh, well, pff, that was uh, anticlimactic. We're gonna die later. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, shall we linger the streets? Maybe, I don't know. I don't think this is gonna change anything. Main road, dinner, go out? Dinner at the mansion? I don't think there's anything new here for me. Maybe? I don't know. There's a... No, there's a key I have to find. Hmm. Skip. Something I'm forgetting. Oh, shit. Well, we did all the choices. That one... That last one was a really short. I was hoping we would get killed by the end there, but, you know, it is what it is. To die is to get the substance sucked out. Wow, that was timely for what I just said. Uh, also, what... Jesus. Alright. Anyway, thank you for watching uh, my Kagetsu Toya playthrough. Uh, again, it would have been nice if we had a special bad ending there. Like, like same energy as Kuanku with the needles, but CL just tracks us down and fucking murders us. Uh, but either way, uh, we got killed nonetheless after CL vanished and then there was just Dark CL. And, dude, that whole scene in the alley where Dark CL is just talking to CL just big persona moment right there but uh but you know i'm not trying to just meme on like literally like i like that shit i really like that because it's you know parallel with shiki and dark shiki and arc and crimson moon and uh, it's so cool that we get this with um all of our characters uh and i hope or rather with those characters so far and i hope we get that uh more because you know there's a lot to explore there with akia and of course koaku and hisui like there's a lot you can do there Right, in in a way, that's that's the way that this VN can address these characters individually, like where there are a lack of routes. Um, of course, you get the focus in just various scenes, but this theme of the dream and the nightmare, and what that nightmare is to each individual within the dream, I think that's a really cool fucking idea. So, uh, yeah, I really look forward to more of that because I really enjoyed that CL one. That was that was great. That was really good terrifying god there's some even in the restaurant i got jump scared by that clcg man this was a roller coaster but uh yeah that was our cl episode so um and the athletics festival was the thing but that was that was part of the cl episode too weird stuff weird stuff but yeah a lot of fun still enjoying this hopefully you're enjoying my playthrough and if you have anything to say about this one as always feel free to let me know um of course i'll figure out a path next time but if anyone has any thoughts, uh, no spoilers, of course. But um, yeah, as always, and, and thank you for the help uh, thus far. And if you're seeing this on YouTube, I do early access to this. So if you want to get hours ahead on my playthrough, um, on my Patreon in the link below, uh, you can get instant access to where I'm at currently in this VN in real time. 
If you want to keep up for five dollars, if you want to support the channel, uh, I do early access to everything. This is the worst Patreon pitch of all fucking time. Anyway, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.